Today I'd like to talk to you guys about teaching textbooks math for. Specifically, I'd like to do a flip through of the student workbook. So if you're going to use the physical components for teaching textbooks math for, you would need these three things. You would need the CD-ROM set, which has four discs. You would need the answer booklet, and you would need the student book which I'd like to focus on today. So one of the things to keep in mind when using teaching textbooks is that it is not at grade level. So this is math four, but it is more equivalent to a third grade math program when compared to other homeschool math programs. So my son has just finished Saxon in math three this year, which was for third grade. And most of what is in here, he has learned in his Saxon in math three. So, I would say this is equivalent to a third grade math book. So if you're just starting out with teaching textbooks, I highly recommend using their placement test on their website to see where your student should start. So let's take a look inside here and see um, the kinds of concepts that are covered in teaching textbooks math four. So we'll take a look at the table of contents and here are all the concepts. If you'd like to pause and take a look at all the things covered. So we have addition, subtraction, rounding, addition and carrying, subtracting in your head, multiplication, we have division, we have um, perimeter and area and angles, and we have temperature, writing a check, time zones, reducing fractions, and there's some percents over here. So these are the kinds of things covered in here. Again, most of this my son learned in his third grade book, but there are a few things here toward the end that he has not learned. So um, there are maybe a few um, fourth grade skills in here, but I would say most of it is third grade. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So here is lesson one, addition. So the student is um, if you're using this program, most likely going to be using your CDs and that will give the explanation um, to the student. So this would be more like for the parent to see what the student has learned, not necessarily for the child to read because they'll be learning on the CD. So here is lesson one. It has 22 problems. Let's take a look at lesson two. we have, again, 22 problems. So I'll just flip through the pages and you can see what's covered in here. Place value, reading a calendar. Let me get to the middle of the book. Now, teaching textbooks is, um, it does use the spiral method, which means it will continually review concepts that have previously been learned so that the student remembers all that they have learned so far. And I do love the idea of um, the spiral, the spiral method. And that is versus the mastery approach, which would be focusing on one topic at a time. So like math you see would be a mastery approach or math mammoth would be a mastery approach, but this is spiral and so is Saxon as well. So some students don't use the, these books at all. They just do things on a separate sheet of paper as they're doing their CDs. But I personally like having the physical workbooks. And the students can just work it out right in the book instead of having to copy down the problems. So here we have some fractions. And perimeter and then right at the very end let's see how the, the final quiz looks so quiz 17 let's see what's covered in here we have multiplication with double digits we have dividing with a single digit there we have percents some roman numerals and some improper fractions and a word problem so that is what Math 4 covers for teaching textbooks. 
And if you guys have any additional questions about this program, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.